What is going on guys? Coach Show here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. And in this video, we are continuing our Strongman Muscle Group Series. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about these things right here, the forearms and the grip, okay? Got a quick grip joke for you. What's the difference between pink and purple? The grip. Oh, okay. When it comes to strongman, you're gonna find that a lot of events require strong grip, okay? There's different carries, there's different barbells, etc. cetera. Uh, so having a weak grip, like myself, is not acceptable. Uh, so these are exercises that I've been using to help strengthen my grip, especially during this recent prep for me as I try to get back into strongman. So let's get right to exercise number one, which is going to be one of the most specific uh, on the list, and that is farmer walks and holds. So if you guys have trained strongman, uh, or you probably just have heard about farmer walks because of strongman, it's basically picking up two objects and walking with them for a certain amount of distance. Uh, so when it comes to this exercise, obviously doing them is gonna transfer straight over to strongman if you're competing, uh, but it's also gonna be a heavy taxer on the grip. So I love doing farmer walks uh, for grip, and then what I'll also do is a hold. Now you can either pick them straight up and hold them for as long as you can, and those can be your sets. You can also do a walk, and at the end of the walk, hold them for as long as you can. You use the same principles as any other uh, exercise with progressive overload, so do a few sets, work your way up, uh, and then increase the weight over time. So don't go you know, straight crazy, uh, full potato, where you can barely even get uh, work with your grip. Uh, so start a little bit lighter, and then over time you're really gonna feel that you're developing big strong forearms and bigger and stronger hands. So that's our first exercise. Exercise number two, my friends, is going to be axle bar anything, okay? Axle bars are super awesome because one, they're really cheap uh, and they're also super versatile. So you can find them on roguefitness.com or you can have them custom made. You can even just find literally somebody at the junkyard that <laughs> literally is uh, in the shape or form of an axle bar. Could be even a car axle. And you're gonna just throw some weight on there uh, and use it for training. Now why I like it is because in Strongman we have a lot of axle bar variations. So it could be axle bar clean and press, it could be axle bar deadlift, it could be just holding an axle bar uh, for grip. There's tons of different things that's involved with the sport. Now, when it comes to training, right, you can use it for anything. You can use it to deadlift, you can use it to press, whether that's overhead press, incline bench press, you can just pick it up and hold it. You know, all sorts of different things, so the bar is super versatile. And what makes it unique for the grip is because it's a fat bar, all right? So anytime we have a big fat object that we're trying to grab and hold on to, it's gonna tax our grip and it's gonna make it more challenging. So if you guys are looking to increase your grip strength uh, and transfer over to Strongman quite perfectly, everybody should have an axle bar in their toolbox to use for their training. All right guys, exercise number three. Now this is something that I honestly used as a fun competition in the gym, uh, but these are gonna be dead hangs from the pull-up bar. Okay, I also love using this uh, with just developing overall grip strength for younger athletes. So if you guys didn't know, I coach lacrosse and do high school strength and conditioning. So I have a lot of my kids work on this to just get a base level grip strength. Uh, the thing that I like about it is it's super simple. So you can basically do this anywhere, any place, anytime. You don't need anything fancy. You could even set up a pull bar in the frame of your door, your house, and just hang. Uh, so this is a, a super easy exercise. And for this, guys, uh, it's just gonna help strengthen your hands, your grip. It's gonna help transfer over to all the other variations that we've been talking about. And it's gonna be specific to strongman. The other reason that I started incorporating these more is because world's strongest man, Martins Lisi's from 2019, had told me this is his favorite exercise to do for grip. So obviously, when someone of that caliber athlete is telling you this is my go-to number one exercise when it comes to grip, uh, I keep that stored in my knowledge bank, and that's something that I like to throw into my training uh, in hopes that's gonna make me a better strongman athlete. All right guys, exercise number four, specific to grip, is gonna be some sort of rolling thunder implement, okay? So there's a rolling thunder, there's other companies that make things similar to it. Uh, we use the one from Grip Genie, which is absolutely phenomenal. No affiliation with them whatsoever, but I love Juji Mufu and all his friends who own that company. Uh, so check out Grip Genie if you guys want one of those for your gym. Uh, the reason that I like it is because if you're talking strongman specifics, it mimics things uh, like a Hercules hold. So that's basically when you're holding on for dear life and you have these handles and there's weight pulling you, like they're gonna rip your arms out of your sockets. 
Hopefully it doesn't happen, but basically it's just a test of grip and those handles are rotating. So it makes it very challenging. So when you're doing the rolling thunder, it's typically gonna be a fat handle that is rolling. So you're trying to resist the rolling of the handle as well as the, the weight that's on it too. So uh, kind of just, the uncertainty overall of strongman, you never know what events you're gonna get, you never know how your grip's gonna be taxed. That's one of the reasons I just like using the Rolling Thunder. And typically I'll incorporate it in the beginning of my training session so my grip is as fresh as possible. Uh, but same thing, periodize it strategically, you know, do a couple good working sets or sub-maximal holds and work, you know, your right hand, your left hand back and forth. Uh, there's tons of different ways you can program it, but it's something I've been actually having a lot of fun using. So in terms of just enjoyment of grip training, the Rolling Thunder is fun for you and your friends to kind of just come together and uh, play around with it. So that's gonna be our fourth exercise using some sort of Rolling Thunder implement. All right guys, last one. We saved the, the most common for last, and this is something that you guys are probably doing you know, whatever strength sport you're in, whether you're a bodybuilder, you're a crossfitter, you're a strongman athlete, that's gonna be some sort of wrist curl variation, okay? I remember doing these uh, when I was a teenager, you know, just had an empty barbell or a couple dumbbells, and I would just sit there and I would just keep curling my wrist so I get those Popeye looking forearms uh, and just absolutely torch myself. So if you guys don't have access to a lot of things that I talked about, in this video, uh, then you guys can just grab a pair of dumbbells, grab a barbell, and start doing wrist curls, uh, whether it's with either one of those implements, um, and just try to get bigger forearms, get that pump, get that berm, and that's gonna help your, your forearm strength, your grip strength, that's gonna transfer over to all the other exercises we had just talked about, but it's a super easy one that you can do any place, anytime, and anywhere. And every time I said any place, anytime, anywhere, take a shot, because I said it like four times already. And I actually sat on my testicle when I sat on the sandbag and my balls hurt really bad. So uh, I feel like it's time to wrap this video up. All right, so uh, a couple minutes went by, I had to just get myself back and, and ready for this. Uh, but that's all we got, guys, for the video. It's very important to train grip. Uh, when it comes to strongman specifically, that's just like one of the key foundational elements and components of it is obviously grip training. So don't neglect it. Uh, if you guys are obviously doing your regular training, you're getting some grip work in, but for those of you that you may be lacking in that department, like myself, it's good to throw in the exercise we had just mentioned. So uh, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out zastrength.net for all our articles, programs, all that good stuff. Uh, and that's all we got today, guys. So stay lean, mean, strength machine. Catch you guys next time. Peace.